people are asking about the stock market because they would like clarification on why some people say that the market the stock market keeps growing at 12 to 15 percent while others say there are years where the growth is positive and there are years where the values drop because the growth is actually negative negative growth so hi i'm manny viloria of trulyrichpinoy.com at sasagutin po natin yung tanong na yan, no? yung stock market ba laging pataas o taas baba at bakit ganun? But parang iba-iba yung mga sinasabi ng tao. So what we have here, courtesy of Investagrams, is a chart showing the PSEI. Think of the PSEI, PSE index, as an average score or value of the stock market. And as you can see here, the lines go up and down. Like at this point, it was high, then here it went down, and then here it went up again, here it went down. Whenever you, you see something go down, that's negative growth. And then here it went up again, then down, up, down. Then over a longer period of time, it, it kept going up. Then after a short period of time, it went down. And then yet after another longer period of time, it went up. And then in a short period of time, it went down. Now, if we compare the points in 1985, around July 1985 and January 2019, here's the overall trend. That overall trend is what people expect to be the long-term trend of the stock market. Some say it's 12%, some say it's 15%. But you have to remember that in between 1985 and 2019, the PSEI went up and down. So when you hear people say the stock market grows at 12 to 15 percent compounded annual growth rate, that's just the average because in between there were ups and downs. So if you are a long term stock market investor, Let's say you bought at that point and then it went down and then you panic and said, ah, I'll just lose my money in the stock market. And then you sold your stocks. When you actually sell your stocks at a lower value, that's the only time you have a realized loss. But if you did not sell, then it's just a paper loss. So those who have a more long-term view can expect this. Again, this movement is not guaranteed this pattern can change anytime. It depends on how patient you are and where you are in the chart or in the cycle of things. Like, you might have bought here expecting it to keep on growing. Then it dropped and then you said, oh, I'm going to wait again. Then it recovered to about the same level when you bought it. And then when it drops this much, you might panic and say, I know I'll just lose money in the stock market, then you might actually sell, at which point that is a realized loss. But if you did not sell at that point and waited, it would have gone up, but not as high as it was here. So you might be feeling a bit worried, and then when you see it drop that much, you might be even more worried and might be tempted to sell. But again, if you are a long-term stock market investor, you'll wait, and that's slightly higher than what it was when you bought. That will drop. So you can see, this is over a long period of time. Some people use the strategy of getting stocks of long-term companies when the price is low, because based on the general expectation of long-term investors, the overall long-term trend of the stock market is upward. So I hope that helps clarify things. If you have questions, please get in touch with me at trulyrichpinoy.com slash tara. Until next time, ako po si Manny Villoria ng trulyrichpinoy.com na nagsasabing invest in yourself before others will invest in you. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay. Tayong